Hello, everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sins so my prayer can enter your throne. Thank you so much for this beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you for waking us up with our life and our health. Thank you for being our constant companion, Lord, the one who guides us, the one who is our refuge, our strength, Lord. We love you. We give you praise. We give you our adoration. There is no one like you, O oh Lord. And we acknowledge that. We know that we would be lost without you. Father, thank you for your plan of salvation. Thank you so much that you sent your son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins so that we can be justified so that we could be sanctified and so that we can receive the comforter and the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Lord, for all that you have done for us. May we learn to love you even more, to trust you, to depend on you. May we learn to walk in your ways and live a righteous life. Father, help us to walk in holiness as you have called us to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, The Richest Man in the World. It was written by Rolando Madruga and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. It's presented to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez. This was taken from the book Mesa de Fe or Table of Faith, page 105. Our biblical base comes from Jeremiah chapter 9, verses 23 and 24. Thus says the word of God. Thus says the Lord, let not a wise man boast of his wisdom, and let not the mighty man boast of his might. Let not a rich man boast of his riches, but let him who boasts boast of this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord, who exercises loving kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For I delight in these things, declares the Lord. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. The highest spheres of society are generally made up of one of these three human categories. The wise, those who, due to their knowledge and intellectual mastery, have been capable of the most amazing advances in the modern world. The brave, men and women who, through their courage and decisions, leave their mark and are capable of mobilizing crowds around their example of life. Lastly, the most unpopular sector on this list, but one that frankly pulls the socio-political and economic strings today, the rich. These three classes of personalities are put in their place by the Lord by saving that none of their human attributes deserve praise. They are vanity and emptiness. These qualities are lack eternal value and compared to the highest treasure a mortal can aspire to the lord says understand me and know me only this deserves recognition knowing the one who does mercy judgment and justice on earth because he wants these things and then seeing myself as unwise worthless compared to many others and not at all rich, but being the object of his mercy and justice that was imputed in Christ and who personally knows the king of the universe makes me without a doubt the richest man in the world. Amen. My brothers and sisters, may we not boast in what we know, in our level of intelligence. Let us not boast in our riches and how much money or how many... um material possessions we own. Let us not boast in things of this world that fade away, but let us focus on understanding 
the Lord and knowing the Lord. That is what we should pride ourselves in and knowing God, understanding him, because if we know the one who is full of loving kindness, justice, and righteousness, that is something worthy of delighting in. That is what the Lord delights in, not necessarily of our intellect, of our riches, how much our portfolio gains every quarter, every month, however it is that we invest and we look into, not as how much degrees we can ascertain in this lifetime. That is nothing worthy of the Lord. He delights in how much we know him, how much we understand him. So my brothers and sisters, if we desire to be the richest man in the world or the richest woman in the world, let us get to know the Lord because it is in him that we are rich. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. And now, my brothers and sisters, I invite you to check out our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we journey through the entire Bible in one year. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great comforter, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.